A UCLA scientist is saying that uh, the craters on Ceres are producing atmosphere, folks. The lead investigator for the Ceres project is saying that the craters on Ceres are producing atmosphere, particularly the crater with the bright spots. Now, of course, science immediately jumps on it and says, well, that proves that it's just ice. <laughs> doesn't matter if it's ice producing an atmosphere. There's an atmosphere, folks, which means it's possible for anything to live there, for the cities on Ceres to look just like I'm showing you, and that these blurs are, are there on purpose, and they're also a product of atmosphere. Just uh, enhance the blurring, and you have a, a NASA photo, and here's what it should look like. Uh, and this is just a poor uh, representation of what it should look like. Uh, I will show you some pretty fascinating things coming up here. Uh, you know, somebody had the nerve to shush me yesterday when I said something uh, disparaging about Hillary Clinton. Can you imagine that? Somebody shushing me over Hillary? I, I almost lost my mind. Like Hillary Clinton is something real. I just I just don't uh, understand people believing in these political idiots. I believe in Hillary Clinton as much as I believe in Gwen Stefani for president. I, I truly. It's the same thing to me. Um, Madonna for president. Uh, Mae West. I, I, it's the same thing to me. Uh, it, it could be any... Uh, I don't care who it is. Jeb Bush? Are, are you kidding me? And people are really... That shows you how sick and silly America is. That these fools from these rich families, this uh, Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton dynasty they're trying to prepare. Uh, it just, it just, and it, no one's, and people don't see those obvious things. Hillary Clinton is not a serious candidate. I don't care what anybody says. She, she might be taking herself seriously, but let, let's see what happens with her. You know, I can't believe that Ted Cruz is uh, letting um, Donald Trump steal his spotlight. I mean, Ted Cruz, I thought, would be m much more dynamic, not such a... See, that's what I'm saying. Why do I care? I don't even care. But look, see, see, this is what I'm trying to show you with the pictures here. See that? Now, this area on series looks like L.A. or New York or Chicago or many great cities at night. Just, that's the, uh, the point I'm trying to make here. Someone wrote me yesterday, and uh, this video was already prepared, and I thought, wait a minute, I can just go on and show what I'm trying to show you by putting in photos of Earth. And I'm telling you, folks... These places look exactly like what you're seeing on Earth, just a little bit more sophisticated, higher buildings, blah, blah, but same colors, same atmospheric conditions. Looks just like Earth, just as clear, just as colorful, just as beautiful. Take a look, not just at what idiots want to call pixels. All these pixel people out there, it's just, it's just sickening. You know, the refuge of the, uh, the stupid, the pixel. They have to have something to hold on to. Otherwise, what do they have? If these aren't pixels, then the idiots have to realize it's this. And they can't quite wrap their heads around it. They'd rather crawl back into their beds and pull the covers over their heads and prepare for, uh, you know, same old, same old. They don't want a new day. They can't handle this day. They couldn't handle yesterday. How are they going to handle a future of, of varied races and varied uh, anatomies in the same room with them? They won't be able to take it. That'll be too much for them. No matter what the conditions are, no matter how nice it might be, there are going to be some people that just can't take the way they look. There are going to be some people that just can't take the way they smell, or the way they speak, or, or, or the way they make noise when they walk past, or any of a number of things. So it's going to be uh, the same old human story. It's going to be the same old story of trouble and strife when there should be peace and harmony whether we uh, go to Mars or not. And, and look, I'm reading articles now where everybody's jumping up and saying that the Mars One mission is impossible, blah, blah, blah. It, I've always said it. I've said it from the first time I heard of it. I laughed the first day. Mars One will never happen. It's impossible. Nothing has been prepared, folks. The mission is 10 years away. They've prepared nothing. They think a television special or a few things like that are going to raise enough money to get a bunch of dreamers, a hundred pounds of, uh, or a hundred pieces of meat to Mars. You know something, if they had any sense at all, they'd spend the next ten years living in a colony in a desert on Earth. They'd go to, uh, to, to Africa someplace or, you know, somewhere in the Gobi Desert and set up a colony there and see if they can stand each other. Have these hundred fools 
go live together now and see if they can take it and see how many are alive don't let them get out build a huge fence around them you know like 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 let, let Donald Trump do it he thinks he can build one around Mexico let him get involved in this throw his money into Mars one build a big fence around a bunch of idiots hundred idiots give them habitats and this is earth where it should be pretty easy for them and I bet you they don't make it I bet you'll see them coming screaming over those walls I bet you I bet you 30 people don't, don't aren't, aren't around at the end of it all I bet you within a year it's over a kaput that's the experiment you idiots from Mars One should be doing. I shouldn't call you idiots, dreamers. Um, people that have no sense of history. People that uh, uh, believe that these corporations mean to do anything but take money from you. They're not going to give you anything for your money. They say by the year 2026, food prices on Earth are going to be four times higher than they are today. Imagine that. Or let's say they, they say they're four times higher than they were in the year 2000. Uh, that's ridiculous. It's already four times higher than they were in the year 2000. So imagine four times that. They said that's how bad it's going to be because of the uh, conditions Earth is uh, predicted to face in the next 10 years. So food is going to be scarce and it's going to be dear. I'm reading uh, Life on the Mississippi, a Mark Twain uh, book, Samuel Clemens. And uh, he's saying that during World War II, or, pff, World War II, what am I saying? During the Civil War, <laughs> Uh, there was a siege of Vicksburg and the entire city was cut off from the outside world for months and uh, he's saying that eggs were like five bucks for twelve bacon five dollars a pound uh, flour was like a hundred dollars a barrel corn was a hundred dollars a bushel just incredible high prices so don't think it's not possible folks don't think that it can't happen. Can you believe that you're paying the prices now? I saw a chicken a few days ago. I was complaining last year. I saw a chicken for ten bucks. Well, I saw a chicken for fifteen dollars and forty nine cents, and it wasn't even like free range or anything. It was just a nasty, sloppy chicken in a bag at a at a food fair or a food mart or something. Uh, you know, folks, you have to prepare for that. You have to pre pre prepare to make more money if you can, any way you can. Um, do whatever you can, folks, because you're going to need the money in the future. Uh, no wonder people want to leave this planet. You know, the people from, from Mars One have, have a right idea in that. But don't trust a corporation to get you there. Don't trust a corporation to help you. Don't trust a bunch of idiots that, that want to put you on television first. I, I've given you the idea for the special Mars One, folks. Put them in a desert. Give them a little bit of water. Some seeds. You know, but whatever you're planning on doing on Mars... Give it to these hundred people and uh, put a fence around it and let Trump pay for the special and see how many years it runs. It, it, you're going to lose money on this thing because people just can't do it. They don't even know each other. If I met ten people, I'd end up on a strangle eight of them. That's just the way it is. Or maybe it's just me. <laughs> but uh, anyway... Um, Atmosphere is being produced on series. Uh, look it up. Look up Christopher Russell, lead investigator for the series Dawn Mission. Look it up, folks. And uh, you will see that I've been right about series and everything about these planets. There's life on all these worlds. And NASA's just filming this in black and white so you can't see it. It's beautiful, just like you'd see Los Angeles or any place else at night. Uh, Mars is not enough for me, folks. Why in God's name would I want to go live with a bunch of idiots in a desert when I can go to the moon and live in a city with intelligent people? Weird looking probably, but I'll get over that. I, I know a lot of weird looking people. I'll get over that. So, uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I, Mars is not enough. It's, a, it's, a, it's an infantile dream. Why, why go to live with these guys when I can go to a real city on Mars? I'll go, but you ain't going to see me again. I'm hiking across the desert to a major city and getting some grub sitting down eating some real food I'm not sitting there eating fucking excuse me corn flakes and stuff with you guys are you kidding me I'm going to a real city I'm heading for this now that look folks this is um, um excuse me Pluto believe it or not and earth you choose which is which I didn't designate which if you saw my Pluto video you'll know but one of these is Pluto one of these is earth just look closely and you'll see how exactly similar they are. There's no difference whatsoever. 
I don't care what NASA t is trying to tell you. Pluto, the icy moon, the icy world, the icy proto, whatever the hell they want to call it. And, you know, they found that Ceres is smaller than they thought it was by like 90 miles or something like that. I don't think that's very much, but uh, in a little world like this, it is. It's smaller than uh, than they thought. Maybe it's not 90 miles. Maybe it's more like 16 or 17. Anyway, uh, um, the closer they look, the more they find. And like I say, they're dangling a carrot in front of the face of Congress right now with Pluto, saying that Pluto has such incredible secrets, blah, 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 that it's worth another mission. So what, another nine years, folks? <laughs> Can you believe it? These idiots had a, had a nine-year mission to a, a far-off world, not to circle it, to shoot past it. Uh, what kind of stupidity is that, folks? to soar past it? Why not go into orbit around it? You did it with Ceres. You do it with Mars. You do it with the moon. You do it with everything. Why would you have a mission just to fly by a planet and keep going out into it's the farthest planet, right? What's left? There's a few extra asteroids or something out there they want to go take a look at. But who gives a damn when, when there's a whole planet there that's shrouded in darkness that's been part of every underworld tale and myth in the history of this planet and we just go fly past and take a few shots like this and keep going well what I showed you there is what this looks like I'm trying to tell you people that there's there's uh, there's life everywhere and, and and like I say Mars one is not enough not enough for me you know maybe I'm my brain is too crazy or something I just couldn't stand doing something like that I just couldn't do it I couldn't even go on a camping trip with people I don't know and that's a fact. When I go on a camping trip, I go with my pals. We don't take cell phone. We don't take anything. We, well, what am I saying? Of course they do. I tried not to. And uh, we just have a blast because we know each other. We can kick back. We could survive on Mars. I bet you I could take a bunch of my pals to Mars. We'd have a hell of a good time. Um, but we know each other. You know, it'd have to be some women brought along too. But we know each other. I guess I'd have to be the wise. But we know each other, so we'd have a, we'd have a, a great time. So it'd, it'd, be, it'd be a lot of fun. Except for our wives would be with us, so I got to think twice about that. Anyway, um, this is um, series, the city. Uh, lots and lots to see here. If you want to go back and freeze this, please do. I invite you to. It looks like this, and that's no joke. That's no kidding. And I'll say that to anybody to their face. I'm not afraid to say it. I know it's true. I I, I would do a TV special. <laughs> get enough money to go here and prove it to you people that that it's true I'm not afraid to go I, I have courage I guess some anyway good good, uh, good morning in years so food is going to be scarce and it's going to be dear I'm reading uh, life on the Mississippi a Mark Twain uh, book Samuel Clemens and uh, he's saying that during World War two uh, World War II, what am I saying? During the Civil War, <laughs> uh, there was a siege of Vicksburg, and the entire city was cut off from the outside world for months. And uh, he's saying that eggs were like five bucks for 12, bacon, five dollars a pound, uh, flour was like a hundred dollars a barrel, corn was a hundred dollars a bushel, just incredible high prices. So don't think it's not possible, folks. Don't think that it can't happen. Can you believe that you're paying the prices now? I saw a chicken a few days ago. I was complaining last year I saw a chicken for 10 bucks. Well, I saw a chicken for $15.49, and it wasn't even like free range or anything. It was just a nasty, sloppy chicken in a bag at a, at a food fair or a food mart or something. Uh, you know, folks, you have to prepare for that. You have to pre pre prepare to make more money if you can, any way you can. Um, do whatever you can, folks, because you're going to need the money in the future. Uh, no wonder people want to leave this planet. You know, the people from, from Mars One have, have a right idea in that. But don't trust a corporation to get you there. Don't trust a corporation to help you. Don't trust a bunch of idiots that, that want to put you on television first. I, I've given you the idea for the special Mars One, folks. Put them in a desert. Give them a little bit of water. Some seeds. You know, but whatever you're planning on doing on Mars... Give it to these hundred people and uh, put a fence around it and let Trump pay for the special and see how many years it runs. It, 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 you're going to lose money on this thing because people just can't do it. They don't even know each other. If I met ten people, I'd end up on a strangle eight of them. 
that's just the way it is or maybe it's just me <laughs> but uh, anyway um, atmosphere is being produced on story of trouble and strife when there should be peace and harmony whether we uh, go to Mars or not and, and look I'm reading articles now where everybody's jumping up and saying that it, the Mars one mission is impossible blah 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 it, I've always said it I said it from the first time I heard it but I laughed the first day Mars one will never happen it's impossible nothing has been prepared folks the mission is 10 years away they prepared nothing they think a television special or a few things like that are going to raise enough money to get a bunch of dreamers a hundred pounds of uh, or a hundred pieces of meat to Mars you know something if they had any sense at all they'd spend the next 10 years living in a colony in a desert on earth they'd go to uh, to to Africa someplace or you know somewhere in the Gobi Desert and set up a colony there and see if they can stand each other have these hundred fools go live together now and see if they can take it and see how many are alive don't let them get out build a huge fence around them you know like 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 let, let Donald Trump do it he thinks he can build one around Mexico let him get involved in this throw his money into Mars one build a big fence around a bunch of idiots hundred idiots give them habitats and this is earth where it should be pretty easy for them and I bet you they don't make it I bet you'll see them coming screaming over those walls I bet you I bet you 30 people don't, don't aren't, aren't around at the end of it all I bet you within a year it's over a kaput that's the experiment you idiots from Mars One should be doing I shouldn't call you idiots dreamers um, people that have no sense of history people that uh, uh, believe that these corporations mean to do anything but take money from you they're not going to give you anything for your money they say by the year 2026 food prices on earth are going to be four times higher than they are today imagine that or let's say they they say they're four times higher than they were in the year 2000 uh, that's ridiculous it's already four times higher than they were in the year 2000 so imagine four times that they said that's how bad it's gonna be because of the uh, conditions earth is uh, predicted to face in the next ten. Uh, it just it just and no one's and people don't see those obvious things Hillary Clinton is not a serious candidate I don't care what anybody says she, she might be taking herself seriously but let, let's see what happens with her you know I can't believe that Ted Cruz is uh, letting um, Donald Trump steal his spotlight I mean, Ted Cruz I thought would be m much more dynamic not such a see that's what I'm saying why do I care I don't even care but look see see this is what I'm trying to show you with the pictures here see that now this area on series looks like LA or New York or Chicago or many great cities at night just that's the, uh, the point I'm trying to make here someone wrote me yesterday and uh, this video was already prepared and I thought wait a minute I can just go on and show what I'm trying to show you by putting in photos of earth and I'm telling you folks these places look exactly like what you're seeing on earth just a little bit more sophisticated higher buildings blah blah but same colors same atmospheric conditions looks just like earth just as clear just as colorful just as beautiful take a look not just at what idiots want to call pixels all these pixel people out there is just it's just sickening you know the refuge of the uh, the stupid the pixel they have to have something to hold on to otherwise what do they have if these aren't pixels then the idiots have to realize it's this and they can't quite wrap their heads around it they'd rather crawl back into their beds and pull the covers over their heads and prepare for uh, you know same old same old they don't want a new day they can't handle this day they couldn't handle yesterday how are they going to handle a future of, of varied races and varied uh, anatomies in the same room with them won't be able to take it that'll be too much for them no matter what the conditions are no matter how nice it might be there are going to be some people that just can't take the way they look there are going to be some people that just can't take the way they smell or the way they speak or, or, or the way they make noise when they walk past or any of a number of things so it's going to be uh, the same old human story. It's going to be the same old story. A UCLA scientist is saying that uh, the craters on Ceres are producing atmosphere, folks the lead investigator 
for the Ceres project is saying that the craters on Ceres are producing atmosphere, particularly the crater with the bright spots. Now, of course, science immediately jumps on it and says, well, that proves that it's just ice. <laughs> doesn't matter if it's ice producing an atmosphere. There's an atmosphere, folks, which means it's possible for anything to live there, for the cities on Ceres to look just like I'm showing you and that these blurs are, are there on purpose and they're also a product of atmosphere just uh, enhance the blurring and you have uh, a NASA photo and here's what it should look like uh, and this is just a poor uh, representation of what it should look like uh, I will show you some pretty fascinating things coming up here uh, you know somebody had the nerve to shush me yesterday when I said something uh, disparaging about Hillary Clinton can you imagine that? Somebody shushing me over Hillary. I, I almost lost my mind. Like Hillary Clinton is something real. I, I just I just don't uh, understand people believing in these political idiots. I believe in Hillary Clinton as much as I believe in Gwen Stefani for president. I, I truly. It's the same thing to me. Um, Madonna for president. Uh, Mae West. I, I, it's the same thing to me. Uh, it, it could be any. Uh, I don't care who it is. Jeb Bush? Are, are you kidding me? And people are really... That shows you how sick and silly America is. That these fools from these rich families, this uh, Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton dynasty they're trying to prepare. Uh, look it up. Look up Christopher Russell, lead investigator for the Series Dawn mission. Look it up, folks. And uh, you will see that I've been right about Ceres and everything about these planets. There's life on all these worlds. And NASA's just filming this in black and white so you can't see it. It's beautiful. Just like you'd see Los Angeles or any place else at night. Uh, Mars is not enough for me, folks. Why in God's name would I want to go live with a bunch of idiots in a desert when I can go to the moon and live in a city with intelligent people? Weird looking probably, but I'll get over that. I, I know a lot of weird looking people. I'll get over that. So, uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I, Mars is not enough. It's a, it's a, it's an infantile dream. Why, why go to live with these guys when I can go to a real city on Mars? I'll go, but you ain't gonna see me again. I'm hiking across the desert to a major city and getting some grub, sitting down, eating some real food. I'm not sitting there eating fucking, excuse me, corn flakes and stuff with you guys. Are you kidding me? I'm going to a real city. I'm heading for this. Now, look, folks, this is, um, um, excuse me, Pluto, believe it or not, and Earth. You choose which is which. I didn't designate which. If you saw my Pluto video, you'll know. But one of these is Pluto, one of these is Earth. Just look closely, and you'll see how exactly similar they are. There's no difference whatsoever. I don't care what NASA is trying to tell you. Pluto, the icy moon, the icy world, the icy proto, whatever the hell they want to call it. And, you know, they found that Ceres is smaller than they thought it was by like 90 miles or something like that. I don't think that's very much, but uh, in a little world like this, it is. It's smaller than uh, than they thought. Maybe it's not 90 miles. Maybe it's more like 16 or 17. Anyway, uh, um, the closer they look, the more they find. And like I say, they're dangling a carrot in front of the face of Congress right now with Pluto, saying that Pluto has such incredible secrets, blah, 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 that it's worth another mission. So what, another nine years, folks? Can you believe it? These idiots had a, had a nine-year mission to them, a, a far-off 